How to enable ADB debugging on Chromebook. If you're into developing Android apps and you use a Chromebook, you might be wondering how to enable ADB debugging. This feature is super useful for testing and debugging your apps directly on your Chromebook. First, make sure your Chromebook supports Android apps. Not all Chromebooks do, so this is a crucial step. Next, you need to have Linux set up on your Chromebook. If you haven't done this yet, go to your Chromebook settings, then navigate to the About Chrome OS section and look for the Additional Details option. Here you can change the channel to the Developer channel if needed. Now let's get into the nitty gritty. Open your Chromebook settings and select the time in the bottom right corner. Then go to Settings and navigate to the Advanced section. Here you'll find Developers on the left panel. Select Linux and then Develop Android Apps. Here's where the magic happens. Toggle on Enable ADB Debugging. Your Chromebook will prompt you to restart, so go ahead and do that. Once it restarts, you'll see a message about ADB debugging being enabled. After the restart, open the Linux terminal from your app drawer. You'll need to install the ADB platform tools using the command sudo apt-get install android tools ADB. Just press Y to allow the installation. If you want to connect your Android device to your Chromebook for debugging, plug it in via USB and select Connect to Linux when prompted. Then, in the Linux terminal, run the command ADB Devices. On your Android device, you'll see a prompt. Enable the checkbox for Always Allow and tap OK. That's it. You've successfully enabled ADB debugging on your Chromebook. Now you can deploy and test your Android apps directly from your Chromebook using Android Studio or by loading an APK via the terminal. Remember, if you ever need to turn off ADB debugging, you'll have to factory reset your Chromebook, which will erase all your data. So use this feature wisely and only when necessary.